Câmera, né? <risos> So, full day meeting? Full day meeting, innit? Currently, I don't know what colour is in that. I'm not sure. But, I don't want to keep going on about it. Since since the food poisoning, like, if you watch me eat before, you'll know that I typically just fish and beef and then single ingredient whole foods around that. So I just basically rice, potatoes, a little bit of cream of rice. Since I've had food poisoning, my digestion has been a little bit on and off. So I had to change my food a little bit compared to what I normally, normally saw things like there's quite a bit of bagels in there today. Things that are small that I could digest and I'm pretty much out of the woods now. I've put seafood back in my diet this week and it seems it's sitting well, touch wood. And I tried a little bit of cream rice yesterday uh, on my rest day. Still not quite there with that yet, so uh, we won't have any of that. So we'll stick to the bagels up until that gets better. And just been doing a lot of weeding on it, it it's, it's common. And bodybuilders who've had it previously as well say the same that. It took a month, months for him to get better. And yeah, I am fine, it's just, it just doesn't sit as clean as what it normally would. Basically volume, a lot of volume of food in my stomach. So trying to keep everything down, it, or, or as small in terms of volume as possible, whilst get quality protein in. And the only meal I'm not keen on uh, in terms of bodybuilding meals is this meal, the first meal. It's uh, more processed and I prefer just to, I usually just have fish and cream of rice, but I can't have that at the minute. So we'll crack on today. And then it's arms today, so like a moderate food day, no higher days or lower days or anything like that, just um, just the usual. So we'll get cracked on. This is the best meal, what do you mean you don't like it? Is it well, I, I like the meal, but the meal's nice, but it's just a, it's a, it's a breakfast sandwich. These are processed, they're processed. They're processed. So for me now, this is this is actually this is maintenance food. So the food I'm eating now, now I put no weight on. In fact, I lose a little bit of weight, and then I'll have to have a little bit of a meal off on a rest day on the weekend. So just to bring that weight back up a touch. Just the one lonely egg, which actually I got a food intolerance test done. Came back last week, and this is the only thing that like they, they give you like a green and amber three red dots and something else and everything was green apart from almonds were amber sunflower seeds which I used to eat a shit ton of uh, were amber and eggs had three three dots so eggs were like don't not consume them but don't consume a lot of them that was whole eggs how much of an impact that I'll have I don't know but I've always seemed to digest eggs really well as far as I was concerned when I was in the last I was having about 12 eggs a day <laughs> I said it was going to look pretty. There's actually also nothing wrong with eating food. Like, I've got a lot of my clients on this thing, or a meal like this anyway. So there's nothing wrong with eating it, but personally, I just prefer, I just see more longevity in my physique development over an off-season when everything's clean rather than a bit processed. That's literally all it is. If you can get away with eating that all the time. People like Josh Bridgman and people that eat stuff like that happily and do it well, so. Sam Sulek. <laughs> Sam Sulek. I'm going to start dieting like Sam. for the day. So I just have two rice meals at the minute. With 125 rice, 250, cook it and half it. And then when that's ready, I'll cook the haddock and cod to go with the next meal. And what I generally do while like, that's cooking is I'll sort my pre-intro and post-workout out. Gives me a little break from work. If you didn't hear that then, Joe, Joe said, my apartment just used to smell like cooking cream, cream and rice every time I walked in. <laughs> now it just smells like fish. <laughs> I think it's a little bit ash. I can't have any more smelly stuff. I've got two, two plug-in stuff. I've got a candle, I've got a diffuser, and I've got a, a mist thing. So, it might just be me. Get a real, we can get a thumbnail out of this job. Yeah. <laughs> That's interesting. Prep bowl. Maintenance bowl. Off-season bowl. Yogurt, bar. But Mila says, you want to look like a fish, you eat fish. Thank <laughs> you. 
They're mega. Huh? They are mega. What these? They look terrible. What a bargain. How much is it for a box of Cocoa Pops? 250, two quid, two? I said I was going to start shopping at Aldi, but I never did. I'm assured by Joe that chocolate rice, harvest morn, puffs are banging, so. So I don't know what is this meal. Meal three, we would call this meal three. 160, 165 carb, and then 50 grams of, 55 grams of protein. Mm. You're not wrong, Joe, these are quite nice. <clears throat> yeah, they're alright. Like, um, I don't taste is like, Cocoa Pops tastes like shit chocolate. Also, at this meal, I have four boxes of growth hormone and some almond milk. <laughs> uh, but yeah, with this meal, also, I have one of these. Things have been at the minute, I don't have any meals I've planned. Or cheap meals, whatever you want to call them. The only time I will is if, like, uh, I've spoken about, but like, an occasion comes up. So, next week, it's the MK Classic going to the show, and then Oscar, one of my good friends who competed in the triathlete pro show, me and Nathan, and a few others are going to go out in Manchester for some food with him. So, that's going to be my meal off plan next Saturday. I don't need a meal off plan when I'm eating fucking chocolate yogurts and cereal bars every day. Uh, but this is just a nice little daily treat when I've trained. And also, uh, with the ca bits of caffeine in this, uh, I don't know why, if you have a monster or a coffee, it doesn't really touch me. If I have one of them, I feel fucking ready to go. But yeah, this, this meal's super simple. Chicken bagel, bagel and jam. 100 carb, 250, 250 chickens, I like 50 protein. And the only, the only fat comes from the bagels. Two and a half grams of fat, but it's about three grams of fat in this meal. Put some porn stars on, I was like watching this yesterday. I'm just not going to show the TV in there, just have you seen that. Yeah, I'm going to watch some porn, I'm going to watch some porn stars. <laughs> I've not got a lot of fats in my diet. Again, reason being, I just want everything to be as efficient as possible. So my fats come from this meal, oats in my last meal. And then I'll put more fats into my breakfast when I can reintroduce basically salmon and cream rice again. Um, so that's, that's where that will come from. And then potentially a little bit later on into the off season, this will go to fillet steak rather than just lean meats. I can get fillet steak from Revive Nutrition who are my food sponsor, use code TOM10, you can get 10% off I imagine, which is not something I need really at the minute. I like to have full control over my food, but I have actually tried it and it is the fillet steak. It's the best meat I've ever had off a food sponsor. I think you think said it's cooked for like 16 hours or something like that. So that's where my fats will come from, but I, I, I don't really need the fats right now. My fats are probably gonna be around 70, 70 grams of fats a day, maybe a little bit lower which for me is fine, it me leaves my digestion nice. And then as we start to creep calories up and carbohydrates are maxed out, generally my carbohydrates probably go as high as 1300 uh, last year, uh, 1200 the year before. What are we on now? Six meals, 700, 700 carb, maybe a little bit more. Um, so I'm maintaining my body weight on 700 to 750 grams of carbs, or, or whatever it's good, but whatever it is, I'm not sure. So that tells you another couple of hundred carbs of being a decent surplus there. Does <laughs> it smell? Oh, it smells unbelievably like. Oh, it smells good. Are you starving? So Joe behind the camera, I mentioned before, is my client. We've just done a, a mini cut with him, or a decent diet, and you're like in a reverse diet phase now, aren't you? So he's coming up to the pan like this building, and I thought it was because it stunk and he didn't like it, but it's because it smells so good. You got a cheap meal tonight, Joe? I have, yeah. What, you're going to have mince and rice? I just have to buy this off, yeah. Yeah, got <laughs> this. Tenner, uh, with this meal, I will have Gas Mark 10, Rob Taylor, which is basically, it's a daily setup drink, but it's apple cider vinegar, glutamine, probiotics. It's just, it's just good for digestion. And I used it in prep and I liked it, so I've kept it in. And it'll allow me just to get that much water, so I've got that much water left for the day after this meal. Maybe a little bit more if I need it, but yeah, it's got apple cider vinegar, glutamine, vitamin C, and then I have a drum sports nutrition athlete, but if a product's good, it's good. Simple as that. Oh, cookie. 
And I've left that in there. Eat it, shower, bed, wake up in the morning exactly the same way as I woke up this morning. So that is it, guys. That is full day of eating. For now, in my recovery phase, at maintenance, maintaining the just under 260 pounds. Feeling good, digestion, touch wood, is uh, much better or getting much better. My stomach's handling food volume a lot better. So happy with that. Vacuums in the morning are definitely helping. Ab work, post workout as well are definitely helping. So I'll just keep up with that. And say two weeks, I'm pretty sure it's two weeks. I'll just have to look at my sheet. I'll be ready to go. Um, and like I said previous in my previous video, I think we will break down everything, what I do um, in terms of when I start cycle, what I have for the cycle, what I have at what time, for example. So if I'm taking an oral in the cycle, I, I won't be, but let's say I am, I'll tell you when I take it, why I take it at that time. Um, if, what I take on rest days, you know, when I introduce growth arm again, when I introduce insulin, when I increase my insulin, um, if I use IGF-1, LR3, all that sort of stuff. It, I would actually want to do it in a way, I think Joe, you might agree with this, where not if you want to follow my cycle, but if you want to follow what I do from starting off season. So let's say you want to start bulk around the same time as me, you can use these episodes as like, right, I'm going to do this training split with this amount of volume, this diet or this food, just altering it to my macro needs. Um, ideally rather than just throwing single videos out here and there, trying to do it as like a bulking series, almost. I think that'll probably work. So we'll have to have a chat about how we're gonna set that up, but something that, a, bl a blueprint you can follow, um, again, without you know, having to pay a thousand pound a month for my coaching. <laughs> but uh, yeah, thank you for tuning in, guys. Again, if you haven't already, please subscribe. I think we're chasing that. We're chasing that on 3,000 subscribers. I mean, it's nothing to anybody, but I think um, for me, I like doing these videos and the more people that are not watching them makes me want to do them um, and again if there's anything else that you want to see uh, the ludo video went down really well uh, somebody else coming in again there's a, another guy that i'm potentially going to go and see out who trains out of your culture flex who's helped me massively in the past very similar to ludo um very good guy so we'll potentially do that up until then thank you very much for watching if you've got this far and um see you again soon